Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardson Forge outdoor wall sconce called the Umbra Medium. This is the 3028-10, smaller of two sizes. Check them both out. 15.8 inches overall height, 7 inches wide. Projection from the wall out is coming at 6.5, and the mounting height from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of your electrical outlet box is 7.9. Back plate is going to be 7 inches by 15.8. So I want to show you a little more information about that. If you're on the page for this on our website, midway down, left, actually right hand side, right hand side you're going to see a link. It's going to say click here for installations instructions PDF. So if you can click on that for me and open it up, that is going to show you a lot of good information. It's going to show you how the glass goes down. It's a closed top, a very sturdy, beautifully made piece of glass. Slides right in. It's going to show you a full parts list that's going to be on that page and also technical drawings of how the back plate is going to go onto the back uh, onto your junction box. It's a four inch junction box. You'll also notice in the photograph next to me that I took of this that that back plate is comprised of a front plate that has a wall built around the back of it that's open. So when this is pressed against your building, the block or whatever you're cutting, you're going to have a lot of room back there to run those wires all the way to the top. So if you wanted to mount this, you could technically do that anywhere on the back plate. However, you're going to have to decide how you're going to attach that to your building if you're not attaching it to your junction box. So that's the only caveat. But you'll see there's lots of info there for you to look at, okay? So moving on from there, why don't we talk about lamping that's inside of this. Hubberton Forge says that you can do uh, medium base A19. This is an A19. Actually, this is also an A19. These are LEDs. This is an incandescent A19. Notice they're all the same size. You can do up to 100 watts in this for incandescent. If you guys want to do LED, you do whatever you like. So you'll notice these are all just regular screw-in LEDs. It's very user-friendly. This piece of glass is 4.15 inches in diameter. It can get, or can accept, this A21 bulb. So, easy. This A21, I can find up to 150 watt equivalent. I can find these guys, A19s, up to 100 watt equivalent. So you can get a lot of light out of this. It's also a dimmable fixture, remember that? The other thing is if you, you can choose your color temperature when you're looking at LEDs. Always remember that. I talk about it all the time. I happen to like the incandescent glow of our little friend here, the old uh, incandescent from long ago. That's going to be 3000 Kelvin. That's considered warm white. That's the same color of light that's coming down on my hands right now from the LEDs above me. You can get any of these in warm white. You can also get these in cool white, and that's going to be... Um, called outdoor as well, and that's going to be that whiter light, and that's going to be 4,000, 5,000 Kelvin. So it's really up to you what you guys get. It's a dimmable fixture. Just make sure you put it on a dimmer if you decide you're going to dim it. If you guys are in the state of California and you're pulling permits, and the uh, building inspector is going to come down and check on what you're doing, it's very important. And talk to your contractor if you're in that situation. That means if you're doing new construction or renovation in the state of California, they may make you do this, which is another setup for a bulb socket called a GU24. has these little GU prongs on the bottom of this LED. Locks in like that. Prohibits you from ever putting in an, or screw in bulb because you can't do it in one of these. Um, just check in with them about that. Uh, the other thing is if you guys are doing a LEED certified building, L-E-E-D, and that's you're going after tax credits, energy tax credits on a new construction for residential or commercial, they're going to make you do this too. Just contact me if you guys are going in this direction and I can steer you through it. Everybody else, just order the incandescent version of this and put in any LED that your heart desires, like I said before, and you're going to be good to go, okay? So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's Opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in, they blow a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the ends. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft... Uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge, and a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about something else. Uh, same kind of idea. Um, they only use aircraft grade aluminum to make all of their outdoor lighting, and the reason they do that is because Aluminum holds up better than any other material in harsh, extreme weather. When you go out and you're out in the world, look up and you'll see those jet airlines flying up there way above your head. They're all made out of aluminum for a reason because it holds up beautifully. 
It welds beautifully, it doesn't rust, it's very light, and it's just the best material to use outside. So on top of that, they have developed these outdoor baked epoxy powder coats that can go over this and um, make them pretty much indestructible, and we're going to talk about that right now. So how they do this, you'll notice in the picture next to me, there's a picture of a woman, and uh, she's actually shooting a uh, powdered finish at the fixture, and they take the fixture, let's say this is the fixture to begin with, okay? They wire it up with a wire here, wire coming down. They run a small amount of electricity through it to make it positive. And what that does, it makes it attract everything around it. So when she's over there spraying little bits of powdered finish, what it's going to do, it's going to go over the entire fixture. It's going to get into every nook, every cranny, top, bottom, sides, the whole thing. They're going to take that fixture, they're going to put it into an oven. That's going to melt that down and, turn, and make it into a hard epoxy shell and it makes it you know, incredibly strong. <clears throat> because they do this, and these things have been tested in these wind chambers where they have shot you know, salty uh, seawater at them, basically, because that's what's going to happen on a beach, right, where a lot of these things are going to end up. They had to really do that to make sure that they're going to hold up for you. And because they do have done that, they offer the best uh, warranty for the entire lighting industry. And you can see that over on the, the left-hand side of your screen, limited lifetime warranty for residential use and check it out and it'll really make you feel better about their products. Cool. Okay. Moving on from there, why don't we talk about our showroom in Vermont. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We actually have a what's on display page on our website. It's over in the red tabs over on the left hand side of your screen so you can open up that and check it out. Showroom has also a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an amazing deal for you. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. If you guys are going to come visit us, do me a favor. Bring a big SUV, <laughs> if you can, if you have one, only because the boxes are set up for shipping. Uh, measure everything you can think of. So measure with a measuring tape. Measure your ceilings. Measure counters, tables, distances between junction boxes and things like ceilings. Because if you're looking, you want to make sure when you're looking at these things that they're going to be able to be used by you for your needs. Okay? Um, and then um, also bring an iPad. If you guys are doing a project and you have a tablet laying around at home, take pictures with that. Take pictures and, and you can bring that tablet in and we can go through all those pictures together and look and see what you guys are doing and I can help you out on that, okay? So when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont and we're the only dealer with 90 day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some larger items, generally big things on pallets and custom things are going to be non-returnable. We'll always tell you that on the page for it so just keep your eyes peeled for that. And then on top of all that, we offer a rush program. So in order for you to get all of these different finishes, Hubbardton Forge doesn't stock. It takes generally about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it is super, super inexpensive. A lot of people don't even know about it. If you want to know about it, the best thing to do is just drop me a quick email, sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. You can also call 802-446-2400 during business hours. And so I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time if you guys want to talk to me. And then you can email us, uh, you know, seven days a week at sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out the word Vermont. So I think that kind of wraps things up on this. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. Thank you for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.